All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, I wanted to give a quick overview of the different outputs that you can get with the Neutron because it is known to call it the sound of the oscillators, which sound super awesome when you pick them up directly. Um, I love to pair them with other devices, so I just go straight from the oscillator into some other device and use that filter and so on and so forth. So um, I got asked to make a demonstration about um, the different sounds um, without the delay, then without the overdrive, and last but not least, as clean as it gets. So um, the over uh, the 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 orbit, um, yeah, it's all pre-patched as we know. Um, so it's a semi-modular. That means. Um, we have um, access to these modules, but not all of them. So we do have in and outputs for most of the modules in this synthesizer, but not all of them. Overdrive being uh, chained directly to the filter makes things a bit more complicated in order to get the cleanest sound. But um, let's just jump right in into the demonstration. So output, play. It's just a sawtooth here, filter, and the filter is an envelope, that's why it's plucky when I close it. Um, oh yeah, and um, actually, let's make it also plucky when it's... Uh, So that's now the default sound. Um, with the, okay, let's go back. So with the default sound, you also have this delay section, which is known to color the sound in a bad way because it's kind of lo-fi. And then you have this tone control. And the tone control also, of course, colors and the drive. So the easiest way, or the first thing that you can do is, instead of the output, you go um, right next to it from the VCA into your amp. And now this section here will have no effect anymore. And that, but that's not clean enough. Um, the cleanest sound is then when you go from the VCF. Because unfortunately, there's no way in to get the output from between the overdrive and 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 the filter, so um, uh, yeah. Because unfortunately, the overdrive is happening before the VCA. Um, we do have an overdrive output here, but you can hear it's more. It's more dull and, and, and it's softer. So you can hear the uh, this difference in volume, and the reason for that is they have added uh, an attenuator in front of the drive section to give it headroom for the actual drive that I haven't used yet. So this is now the attenuated quiet version so to speak and allows you to uh, increase the gain actually um, so yeah um, we, we kind of need to match this for our next step because we do want this louder uh, more cleaner or the cleanest sounding VCF version But as you can hear, it's like a long sustained note, even though uh, initially I've, I've tweaked the envelope to be plucky. So listen again. It should sound like this, but it sounds like that. Um, reason is, when you go straight from the VCF, you get the cleanest sound, but you lose the VCA and everything that it entails including the overdrive and, and the envelope that is being chained to the VCA. So what we can do on the Neutron, 
being semi-modular is um, we can create our own circuit on the side that uh, goes around the overdrive. So um, I'm going to show you how you do that. So you go from the VCF into attenuator 2. The reason is attenuator 2 has no um, CV control. It's basically just making loud things quieter. Um, and I want to bring it down to about the same level that the overdrive section usually does. So now when we compare the output of uh, attenuator 2 with overdrive, you hear? So, and tone is at the center, uh, at the center position overdrive, but you can hear very clearly now that there's a difference in, in the tonality still. It's more muffled, more, I don't know, more darker sounding, even though I tried to keep it on the, the bass level. And that's something that people don't like when they work with the synthesizer. So, um, the VCF version is, in my opinion, the cleanest one. I, I could not hear any noticeable difference between the VCF output and the raw oscillator output. So is it clean as it gets, I guess. So um, now we have created this attenuated version of the VCF. And um, now we're going to take the output of that. Um, and go into VCA, uh, into the attenuator one. So from two into one. And now we need the envelope because we want it to still be able to control it just like we would with the VCA, which we don't have right now. So um, as long as um, here you can see notes are coming in, that means there's a gate signal and the envelopes will be triggered always, no matter what. You don't even need to use the synthesizer. When you have gate signal, you can use the envelopes for whatever. Might be interesting for later when you use other different gear and you need an envelope. You can always use the spare one from this. Um, but anyway, so now we want to use this envelope that is being produced continuously on every gate signal. Um, use that output envelope one here and go into attenuator one so effectively controlling the attenuator knob so we are able to hear sound um, and that's why we have to fully close the attenuator one um, so only the envelope opens it and now our new main output is attenuator one output Clean that sounds now. See, that's 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 a normal neutron. That's the cleaner one. And that's the one without delay. With delay, VCF only. Okay, and now basically with this patch here, I'm just gonna see it so you can see it better. This patch here is, I think, the way to do it if you want uh, a really uh, not uncolored sound from the oscillators while still being able to use all the controls. So you can still make a, a VCA envelope, you can still make a filter envelope. And of course you can still use the uh, over here on the mod depth. Yeah, so yeah, everything works. 
and you can still use the noise, of course, and the second oscillator. It's a sine wave, triangle, where, uh, saw, and square. Of course, with post with. And fully close it, even if you want. I think it sounds awesome. <laughs> so, um, yeah, for me, Neutron is still one of the most versatile semi modular synthesizers that are simple to the point and just do what they're supposed to do. And I wish Beringer would make more synths like this, their own spin or production or stuff, I don't know. Because um, every time I get onto this, I find something new or find something interesting or I can... It also is great for utility. As I said, you can use the envelopes, you can... I don't know... Even though it's patched like this, I can still use modules for something else. So, for example, I could use the output of the TB03, go into the overdrive, and out of the overdrive, Now I'm gonna use the overdrive to tone color my 303 here. And um, even though I still have my patch down here from the Neutron. So basically I can use now, since I don't use these modules, I can use them for any, for whatever. Um, and uh, you can even go further. Um, when you go into the output instead of the overdrive, so you can use also the delay. Yeah, it's, there's so much things that you still can do with this. Um, there's also delay input. Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we are reaching the limit here, but we have sample and hold, for example, if you need a sample and hold somewhere else, if you have a secondary synthesizer. Um, or, for example, what I love to do was um, using this envelope, uh, this, this ADSR, um, for the Model D. Because Model D is just ASR. Um, and um, stuff like that. I mean, yeah, it's a great synthesizer. Um, and uh, yeah, this just shows, um, even though many people say like, oh, it's too colored, it doesn't sound good, da da da. Just patch it. <laughs> they can get lots of value from this. So, okay, that was my video about um, the neutron outputs and um, how to get rid of the coloring and the cleanest sound possible, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, the, the, the oscillators really, they, they sound amazing. I love them. Uh, 3340. Um, yeah, they're, they're really good. Um, and every time I patch them into some other synthesizer, for example, pairing these with uh, my DFAM with, with the Moog filter, it's killer. But anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.